Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Many a Trunet, and welcome back to the rather charming Deluvian, a eh? like FTL, but honestly not really that much like FTL, I suppose, roguelike-ish sort of thing featuring submarines, where our first task is to build a better submarine, because we have a submarine, but it's not a very good submarine, so let's go find a better submarine, and also just do some scavenging along the way. Now the golden fish were indicating this would be a good direction to head in. So I just need to wander through this direction. That is, hello, oh, oh, hello, abandoned drill house. We could probably do without that. Just give a good old radar ping over to whatever that is. Is that just a, a mine down there? And that's a loot sphere. I don't know what a loot sphere is, but I've decided it sounds like a really, really good thing. And okay, fine, there is definitely some loot in here, but it's pretty boring generic stuff, to be honest. It's actually not that good. The loot sphere has disappointed me. Now, up to the top of this massive old thing, whatever this is, and ah, we've got something up ahead here. Give it a quick scan. Hopefully we trust. I mean, some golden fish are floating around it, meaning hopefully, therefore, that is... No, this is Glacialberg. That's fine, but that's not really where I wanted to actually go next, but we'll go and visit it, see if they can point me towards wherever it is I was actually wanting to go next. So it's a quiet, peaceful town historically. Lately, though, refugees coming in from the war. I used to come here as a kid. From what I've heard, the locals aren't happy about all the refugees. Okay, so we might have a small problem to sort out here. Got it. And let's just come into dock at Glacielberg. Hopefully, we'll have a shop here where I can sell all my stuff. Well, we've got more crew here, albeit coming at high prices. Now, why are the refugees angry? I used to own an ocean-class specialist fish breeding business, but they dismiss me just because I'm from a royal house. Okay, so there's been some form of royal versus not royal war at some point, and the royalists lost, and they're all angry. Well, nothing much there, but it feels like there might be, ah, a different place to dock up north as well. Let's just check the other one, see if possibly the refugees have been segregated from, oh yes. I feel like the downstairs area was awful, and this is the nice area where the non-refugees are allowed to stay. Ah, interesting bit of world building lore here. The reason I haven't seen the surface is because there isn't a surface right now. However, Esmeralda Armstrong is a head of the Ice Boring Guild and is trying to get everyone through the ice fights. That might be a big plot thing. And good stuff, we found ourselves a trader I can sell all my stuff to. So many books for a thousand, lovely, much money for 300. Fish fossils for 250, yet more fish fossils, okay, they're really not worth much. The ferns, however, are worth a pretty penny and the books are worth loads as well. Ah, you've got inventory capacity too, blimey. And I tell you what, I'll clear you out of 75 scrap to give you the capacity to buy my books. Marvellous, that works out for everyone, I'd say. Right, well, nothing much we can do a Glasselberg then, and I feel like I'm being pointed over to my next destination by my golden fish. Quickly check in with the map for a second. So, yeah, Glasselberg, I've gone down... Yeah, so I went down this one to the giant seat. That must be where I got the... Yeah, where the minefield was between these two areas. And now I'm over to Glasselberg, and I'm guessing I need to go through this little tiny corridor in order to get round to the Morse radio guys. So I can pretty clearly see the way the game wants me to go. Back up to full speed instantly. I wouldn't mind a third member of crew just so I can put a little bit more power into the engines. In fact, actually thinking about it, the ship is full health at the moment, isn't it? So everyone into the helm to boost with the engine power, please. Thank you. We'll move you back out if we take a knock. I'm through here to a brand new area. Okay, slow down just a little bit, just for the minute, just so I can get a scan off, because I don't know what I'm actually seeing right now. It feels like I'm in a lot of big empty space, but a sonar ping? No! Sonar ping doesn't help me much at all. And incidentally, you appear to be... Oh, hang on, hang on. You appear to be leading me directly into a wall there, golden fish. Possibly I need to navigate around through here. It feels like, yeah, I need to go to the far side of that wall. In order to do it, I'm going to need to go around through this more crowded area. Where hopefully mines don't sneak up on me. No, I think we're alright for now at least. And here we are. Hopefully we found what we were looking for there. There's definitely something at the far side of this wall. Let's just give ourselves a quick ping here. Just to check that none of that's... Oh, I hear something moving. Give us a quick ping. Yep, there we are. That's where the fish... Oh. 
Okay, something. Something's rumbling in the ocean, but hopefully it's a friendly thing. I'm sure it's all fine. There's the sonar guild. Perfect. So, uh, SOCOM, sonar and communications, I'm guessing, through here. Now we need to buy ourselves a piece of equipment, but I've got plenty of money. I've been saving it up because it did imply I might need to buy one from these guys. Morse radio, worth a thousand. Oh, I can just grab it. Screw it, I've just stolen your Morse radio. Lovely, life is good. So, move on to the final bit, well, aside from the Blackberries, the engine parts. Over in Fingerdal, there was a battle in the area about 50 years ago between House Eversong, I think that's the Royals. Ah, yes, and the rest of the major royal houses. Fine, so there's a few royal houses, they all seem to have fallen on hard times. So we need to head over there, and the fish will probably point me in the right direction, won't you, fish? Thank you, fish! So the fish once again actually pointing me straight into a dead end, so good work again, fish. I've just nipped back to Tonsberg, because I'm guessing once I get back there, I'll be able to see the new branch I'm supposed to go along. The golden fish kind of just keep leading me into walls over and over, so yes, I'm supposing that they're basically... They just tell you the way to go as the crow flies. Certainly, I seem to have met up with the golden fish again over here at Glasselburg. I don't really need them here, to be honest. So in which case, you guys are now telling me to go in this more interesting direction. Fine, gotcha. This feels more like a direction I can actually go in. Yes, thank you, golden fish. Ah, I see something going on here. A new area and the golden fish are congregating around something. We have found the dragon's tongue. That is not a good name for anything. That is a worrying name. One research capsule and then, yeah, I see my main target up ahead. Quickly go up to full speed. Stop off in the research capsule and then I'm guessing whatever the golden fish were congregating around up there... That's my destination. Oh, you've changed your minds a little bit. Never mind. Hang on here. I just need to pop into this here thing. Lovely. Oh, three times repair kit and indeed the dragon's tongue chance. This gets added to my map. Perfect. That means I'll be able to see where I am. Yeah, I always like a map where you're not on it because that makes sense. Like, you're not on an actual map unless you're using a computer. So now, yeah, I'm heading through here to this area for the third and final quest with the exception of the blackberries, of course. And the golden fish seem to be implying that I'm going to want to dive quite deep down. Yeah, we want him to be diving quite deep down in this direction. Lovely. So we've got... Ooh. Yeah, this is a mildly creepy place, isn't it? And we've got... Hang on, hang on. Before we go too much further, stop for a second here. Give everything a good scan. Just make sure we know what that over there is. That over there is... A blowfish marked in white... Not in red, everything's fine. So, we've got another two more things marked in white, not red. Okay, fine. Let's just pop in here for a minute. The Refugee Mariana, together with the Daybreak and a few other bits and pieces. Let's just go and visit. Just there's only one spot to actually dock around here. And it is right here. Well, we can pop in here just to get topped up on air, if nothing else. And also visit, see if we can learn anything about the area. So this is a haven for those who fled the sunken coast during the fall of the house Morgan song. Okay, fine. Keep quiet on what you found here. The other houses staff search parties out looking for survivors. Okay, so I found a refugee refuge. Lovely. Aha! I have found the blackberries. A rare delicacy for only 50 apiece, which I'm going to... Well, I feel like in all fairness I'm basically robbing a child here, but never mind. Good, I'm glad I checked all the traders. One of the, uh, the children here has the blackberries. That just leaves the engine parts to go. And we know where they are. They are close by to where we are. Right. Separated from those guys now. Move us up to half speed in this direction. We've popped back here. Picked up the blackberries. Very, very important indeed. Picked them from a small child. I'm not sure where she got them. Those feel like a rare delicacy, yet a small child just happens to have them and sold them to me. It's an extremely good price. Incidentally, there's something up ahead here. Oh, it's just an abandoned drill house. Fine, that's okay then. Oh, when I say abandoned drill house, oh, it's a big old ship. A pre-apocalypse ship by the looks of it that a drill house just sort of took root on top of. But I will gladly go and help myself to all your stuff. Ooh, engine parts. Okay, we now know we're heading in the right direction. Perfect. And I only need ten of those, I think. And there's another one. We're already up to flipping three. Right, so we're definitely heading in the right direction at this point. We want to search everything that we come across in this part of the world. Looks like more buildings up ahead in that direction. Charge up a sonar ping. I like using the sonar pings. The visibility is very low and the sonar is the best way to figure out what's going on here. And 
Prepare to sonar ping. Anything in particular there? That looks like a building up there, but it wasn't just flagged as such. Fine. Keep the spotlights on this area so we can figure out. Yeah, let's just gain a little bit of depth here. Go to full speed. I feel like there's nothing in this immediate area at least. No, crash ships, but can't... Oh, hello. Something I can interact with down there. That might be one of those loot spheres. If it is, I will gladly go... Yep, loot sphere right there. Pop in. Grab that. Hopefully this one will be less disappointing if it's right in the middle of engine part territory. Oh, yes. Engine parts up to four. Make that five. And six. Oh, yes. Life is good. Oh, no. Seven. I almost missed one. There was one hidden in that little one at the end there. Sneaky get. Right. We're most of the way there already. Beautiful. And there's something down there. It doesn't look like I can necessarily do much to it, to be honest. No. Can't do anything with that. That looks good, though. I think I found another drilling station just kind of dotted at the end of this area. I'll just give you a quick ping just to be sure. It should be fine, right? It's not showing up, but it does distinctly look like the sort of thing I can normally... Yep, there we are. I can dock at that. Don't know why that didn't show up like the others normally do. Just need to find three in here. And we will be in very good shape indeed. Okay, up to eight. Come on. Come on, there's got to be more here than just one, damn it. We've got, ah, inside, ah, okay, we have got, oh dear, we have got supplies under a damage support structure. Now, if I had a crowbar, that would be a guaranteed solution. I could tell Polly to head in there, but I might lose her, but Polly, no offense, is the most useless of my crew, so we'll take a chance. And she holds it with great strength, allowing you to access the crate, beautiful. There was not a single flipping engine part for that. Right, that's all I can get to down this spur. I think I've now got to kind of retrace my steps and head down a different little spur. I think it's a bunch of, like, little very narrow corridors. We've got one down ship, couple of mines. Uh, anything they were actually guarding, though? No, it doesn't look like it. Just looks like a couple of down ships with nothing actually useful about them there, unfortunately. Okay, I think I've come full circle back to where I start at this point. I'm pretty sure I've already cleared this one out. Uh, I mean, if nothing else, I've just filled up my air tank, so... Ooh, possibly not. Possibly... No! No, I haven't right up to nine. Just need one flipping more, you bastards. And it's another deranged sailor moving erratically. Polly try and talk him down without dying, and she was able to. And that gets us up to ten. We have everything we need, and we've got a daisy as well. That is it. That should be literally everything we need, right? I mean, that is the completion of... Oh, yes. We have got what we need. Now, how the bloody hell do I get out of this place? Ah, I'm hoping the golden fish are now going to lead me back to the refugee sanctuary where I'll be able to navigate back to the dragon's teeth pretty easily. Yep, pretty sure that's where we're going right now. Beautiful. You're harmless, right? Yes, I'm pretty sure you're harmless. So once we've got to you... Then I can just head up in this direction to head back to home. Lovely. And here we come up to Tonsberg. And I'm pretty sure that is the guild up front, right? That looks like a sort of guildy engineering -y building to me. Hopefully at least, or possibly it's the one behind it. I don't know. Nope, that is the vehicle engineering guild. I've got everything you want, my good man. Give me a brand new exciting submarine. So, Blackberry has been removed from my inventory. Marvellous. Here, have some Blackberries, my good man. But Gran, I was just trying to... What pack of lives have been feeding this poor captain? Did you even consider your actions could get this crew killed? Oh, no. Please tell me he wasn't lying to me or something. And you led them to believe the vessel you built can withstand more than it's actually capable of. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. I can get them down there with time and training, yes. For now, you're on cleaning duty until I say you can go back to the workshop. Oh, dear. Right, Hope Hasley, I'd like to buy the submarine. Even if it's, like, you know, unfinished and massively dangerous, I'm cool with that. Like, it's a roguelike. That's part of the job description. While Jonathan is very skilled, his designs will simply not go beyond 500 metres. 500's fine. I'm absolutely fine with that. And here we go. My little iron minnow has been upgraded into a lionfish. Oh, yes. Now... Now we're cooking with everything beautiful. Level 2 lionfish. Happy with that. Can't purchase or swap right now, so we'll just exit. We've got ourselves a proper submarine. And if I'm looking for more work, the drill site needs capable crews. Take a letter to Director Armo Strong. Beautiful. 
And there we are, letter of introduction, this gets me places, I'll take that, thank you. So now I just need to find my way to the drill site, got it. Golden fish, show me the way. And, oh you're right, sorry, we do actually need to go and find the torpedo guy from the actual courtyard. You're right, there was a torpedo guy up there, let's go and visit him quickly. Hey torpedo man, at this point, oh apparently everyone's now suddenly flashing red, which normally means important. Oh no, that's my crew, okay fine, they actually come out of the uh, submarine when I dock somewhere, got it. So, now, Mr. Hal Whistlewait, I actually have the right flipping ship for you. Come aboard. Yes, I do. Marvellous. I need to get to the Fountain of Honour in the Sunken Coast area. I'll come with you till then, but only because I need a lift. Got it. Fine, so we just don't go there, and we keep him forever. Lovely. A torpedo can only launch if it has a target, and you can only target something if sonar is tracking it. Fine, so sonar ping something, then you can torpedo up. Got it. Move the reticle over the target, once you see target lock, fire away, torpedoes homing on the target, they're not perfect. More crew in this station, less like torpedo is to fail. Good, good. Oh yes, this is very nice. Now we've got a separate actual treasure room, we've got you in your own room up top, we've got this lovely person here, you've got a different, oh yes. This is just the thing. Right, brand new ship away from this area, golden fish, golden fish, oh no, where are the golden fish? I desperately need the golden fish to tell me where to go next. Golden fish are here. So the golden fish are leading me back out from the area I came into. So this area I've started in basically is, yeah, that is just... Oh, watch out for the flipping currents. Yeah, when you see the wibbly things like that, that's actual proper current you've got to actually take into account, which is kind of cool. Right, up to full speed. Is this stuff any faster, by the way? No, I've upgraded I think it might be a little bit. It feels a bit faster. And I've got my overdrive as well. Oh, that's nice. Right. Over through this lovely big bit of open ocean. And now you want me to go more in this direction. Just remember to keep pinging. You may as well ping, quite frankly. Oh, I'm in the middle of a lot of flipping things there for a second. And I feel like I, right now I'm just in the middle of a whole bunch of nothing. Yeah, nothing around here. Fallen station down there. We can probably do without that for now. Sending out a ping. Uh, nothing too much. Just looks like a bunch of... Ooh, gnome capsule! I, yes, yes, actually, we've, I've decided we are going to go and visit the Gnome Capsule. That's extremely important, in fact, yes. Gnome Capsule has just basic scrap in it. What makes this a Gnome Capsule? I don't know. There's just a Gnome ship here. Possibly there were gnomes before the apocalypse or something. The game wasn't clear on that. Right, well, the golden fish have long since abandoned me, but they were totally leading me in this direction, so this is all 100% fine. I know I'm going in roughly the right direction, incidentally... Don't forget to go to... Oh, I'm definitely going way faster now. You can really feel it when you're close by to something. Now, lost the golden fish, but I was supposed to be going in, like, roughly this direction. Prepare a big old ping, please. Uh, something over there. Big old ship. Uh, janky gnome colony! Well, the gnome society just gets more and more interesting. And incidentally, it looks like there's a big thing... At the bottom of that massive thing over there, too. Ooh, we found... Oh, you are actually gnomes. The people who are dressed in the little gnome hats are genuinely gnomes. So this is a special place. A place that could be your very own base of operations. I'm waiting for a captain to serve. If you've ever got enough cash, the captain could be you. Upgrade to home base one for a thousand gold. Yes, I've decided we're going to do that. I think I've got a thousand... I hope I've got a thousand gold. If so, I've just got home base one. And I came up with an idea for more modules. Do you want to give it a go? I could upgrade it to home base 2 for 10,000. You know what? I think I'm good. So Janky Gnome Colony is now where I live. Now that, that I approve of. And incidentally, I totally saw, yeah, down here underneath this massive rock. It felt like there was something over there. Right, that might be where I'm supposed to be going, in fact. If nothing else, I kind of need somewhere to, like, sell me some food, because at this exact moment in time, I'm looking, and by the way, avoid the massive currents. Yeah, I'm very low on food. Ah, yes, yes it is. I think those might be the golden fish hanging out up there. Yep, golden fish hanging out there. Marvellous. We've got, oh, hello, excuse me. What's, excuse me, no, 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 wait, um, do a big ping, please, because people are murdering other people, and I kind of want to know who's actually a friend versus who's actually a foe here. Then we've got, ah, you, my good man, are a foe. Right, crippled flounder. He is marked in red. Right, he's hopefully already damaged, right? This guy, yep, okay, they damaged each other. Lovely, so I can now just go in and pick the corpses clean. Nice. In fact, weirdly, that one ship has two points. 
Okay, that's intriguing. Is it because it's a really big ship? No, it looks like it's two points for the same area. All right. Right, so you were marked as hostile, and you attacked that other guy. Right, move up to the other guy, please. Thank you, and we'll dock with him as well. Now, we didn't kill you. Someone else killed you, but that's not going to stop me looting the dead. Now, we've got a City of Ice merchant over there, which feels like it could be a good starting point, because I've got a bunch of stuff to sell. Then I want to go up there. Feels like that's where my actual target is. That's possibly the drill site. Someone's pinging me. That doesn't necessarily mean bad, incidentally. It could be absolutely fine. Game has been saved. And dock over here with the merchant. Oh, she's selling all the food. Good. That's exactly what I wanted. And also, ooh. I'll be it for 8,100. Yeah, I'm going to sell you all of my just random crap. All of my fish fossils and my books that are very, very valuable indeed. Together with my ferns and other plants. But yeah, basically I need to buy... You know what, screw it, I'm going to buy 25 food. That will last me a long time. Uh, I could theoretically sell you some reinforced plate, but... Ah, uh, you know what, we're fine for the minute. And I'm going to buy one repair kit just in case. It's a good thing to have as an emergency backstop. Okay, I thought I was supposed to be going up there, but the golden fish have changed their minds a little bit. Now they're not saying go up there. Now they've changed their minds to telling me to head down that direction. Fine, possibly that was just a little kind of like uh, stopping point before I reached the main area the game wanted me to go to. Through the green fish of saving, and onwards with the golden fish of progress. That over there, with the little circle of golden fish, will be... Well, I think I was heading for a drill site, unless this is just another little stopping point. Oh, hang on, get down, get down, get down. Stay away from the strong currents. Beautiful. This is the Dancing Marin. Put a stop here for just for a second. Are you kidding? It's one of the coolest landmarks ever. Incredible it's managed to stay balanced for centuries. Okay, so it's a ship perched on the edge of a... Ah, a ship perched like just uh, precariously on a couple of bits and pieces. And there's a research station underneath it by the looks of things. Yeah, nothing else to go with. And in a moment you want me to go back up. That's fine. Oh, I'm accidentally going backwards. I just quickly want to nip down to the research capsule, please. Thank you. And then we're heading up in that direction. Got it. And that gets me... Ooh, aside from the chart, I've also got myself the Captain's Charm. Increased Captain's Time. So I can sell that for a ton of money. Or when I hold down V, I've got myself, yeah, loads of spare time to change all my crew around. That's kind of cool. Right now, guys, yes, indeed, you are right. Begin speeding up and heading in that direction. Lovely. Although, incidentally, I should just check the map. Where the heck am I on the map right now? So, I've headed, ah, via the City of Ice, through to the Dancing Marin over here, and feels like, well, I'm guessing I'm going to head over here, and sooner or later I'm going to head over here, where probably, if you skip the tutorial, that's probably where the game starts. But I'm kind of glad I didn't skip the tutorial, because, ooh, blimey. Ooh, this is intriguing looking. There's a whole bunch of stuff just chained together. What is all of this? And incidentally, oh, oh, we might want to speed up, by the way, because, well, there's a... Tr ah, I see, yes, I see there is indeed a pirate floating around nearby. And he probably... You know what? Screw you. Screw you. I'm super accurate, and I've got tons of health, and you're just a flipping flounder. I was killing you guys before I upgraded my ship massively. Oh, my goodness, are you crippled by any flipping chance? What a surprise. Now, I'm pretty sure I want to be following... Yeah, in this direction, up towards these chains. Just kind of get a bit higher towards where these chains are leading. Possibly over there, in fact. Uh, ugh. Actually, I'm not sure. No sign of the golden fish yet. Let's just send out a big ping and see what we can see. Just make sure you're friendly, incidentally. You are... A bunch of stuff there. No, you are not. Oh, oh, we've got flipping torpedoes coming in. Take out the torpedo if we can. I think we took out the torpedo. Good. And then just fire. Oh, yeah. We've got a good fire rate now, lionfish. I'm also a lionfish. Screw you. Right, round, 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 round the back of him, round the back of him. I think we're getting in some good shots, and he's missing a bit. Low oxygen, you say? Well, that's fine. We'll dock with this guy as soon as we've murdered him. And one few more. Screw you. Screw. Oh, yeah, he's missing me a lot, and I'm hitting him a lot. And down he goes. Marvellous. And he has brought me a sea chart and multiple repair kits. That's worth it just for those guys. The repair kits are great. 
Added a nearby research station, double crowbar. Fine, that will be very, very useful because that's a get out of jail free card for pretty much any eventuality that you run into as a random encounter. Beautiful. And my journey upwards continues up to full speed. Oh yeah, we're only at uh, minus 90 now and still going up further and further. And looks to me like we've found what will be a very, very logical point for a drilling operation to be happening. Yes, indeed, right at the base of some ice. Marvellous. Right, everyone, just probably go into full stop and start rising up. And here we are, a massive drilling platform. This all looks very, very exciting indeed. Just need to make our way to the docking platform there. Up, 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 oh, oh, just a little bit more around that direction. And up, and don't ram into it. Right, in we go. Speak to Armstrong. Yep, here we are, the top of the drilling platform. The very base of the ice here. And here she is, the letter of introduction handed over. Esmeralda Armstrong. We learnt about her very, very long ago. That's it, bit to the left. Make sure the bolts are secure. Half of my supply ships are stuck on the wrong side of a collapsed ice tunnel, so we're really hurting for support right now. I need you to dive to the sunken storage depot directly below and salvage the reels of wire. Fast you do it, the more you'll get paid. Well, may as well head straight down and grab that for her. If it did indeed just sink straight below where we are, this can't take that long. And when I say can't take that long, apparently we are completely in pirate territory right now. Full speed, full speed, full speed. Oh, bloody blimey. No, no, oh no. No, I should have paid more attention and scanned more. Right, fleck that thing because the fleck cannon can do a lot of good work right now. Back up to full. Okay, we're after this diamond. The diamond ones are supposed to be fast, but not actually that good at fighting. So, if we just put a few bolts ahead of it. Come on. Come on. Oh, don't change your course and your heading, you bastard. There we are. We're getting a few good hits in there. Yep, and I think we just might have collided with something as well. Oh no, we've got one of them behind us. One of them is most definitely behind us. Down to four hit points. Get after him with the overdrive. And that's him taken care of at least. Good. Do not, however, go for him just yet. We've got to take out the Mariana. I don't know how tough you are, but just go around. Round, 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 round. Back up to full speed. Oh, we've got a good shot right at the side. This is going to be close, damn it. Oh, we've got the repair kits. Thank God I picked up those repair kits earlier. Because that means my repair person's doing good work. And you're almost dead. And I'm more dead, unfortunately. Oh. You know what? I'd say it's time to start using some flipping torpedoes. Which then immediately... Oh, that didn't miss. That did some good work. Right, let's just nail these pirates one at a time here. So, you now can just... Oh, you're standing still. That doesn't work for you at all. Right, I'm pretty sure that's the... Yeah, you're a crippled flounder. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Flounder number two. Oi, 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 excuse me. Oh, flip. Right, okay. Up, 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 up. And now just... Oh, flip. I'm completely disorientated for the minute. Right, you know what? Just go up here for the time being. This is apparently where I'm supposed to go. Maybe I should just ignore these guys entirely, in fact. Right, give it a ping, then fire the torpedo at him. Right, ping him. Right now, wait for the lock, wait for the lock, wait for the lock. And fire the torpedo. That will loop round and hopefully do some good damage. We're at point blank with him. Torpedo will hopefully be coming in soon. Oh, yes. Crippled flounder, crippled flounder. Nice. Right, keep on scanning because there might be more bad guys yet. Yeah, I see you yet. Yeah. Right, prepare, 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 prepare. Go for the diamond, the Glacium diamond. Oh yeah, getting some good hits in now. Now give him a ping, give him a ping, give him a ping. And get the ping in. And prepare for... There we go, I think we got the... We hopefully got the what we needed in there. Oh yes, Angler Torpedo takes that guy out. Nice. There we go, it was just down here in this little drill station. No problem whatsoever. Just a little bit of tough fighting. Just use your torpedoes nice and sensibly and everything will be okay. Oh, and incidentally, I may have just picked a bad moment to come inside this station because a whole bunch of ice has just fallen over and... Okay. Um, yeah, I just got... I just died from that. So as I approach the station now, a whole bunch of ice is going to fall off it. And for that reason, I need to be a little bit on the careful side. Wait for the rumbling to start, then immediately start diving, okay? There we go. Yep, that's it, that's it, that's it. Down, 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 down. And full speed out of the hole. There we 
go. Hopefully we can beat the ice down. Captain, dive now. I'm trying to dive at this exact moment in time. And out comes all of that ice. And bad things are happening. Bad things are happening as it turns out. Are we good? Yeah, I think we're good. Right, so the dive platform has just been completely bloody destroyed. Well done, what's-her-face Armstrong. I assumed you were going to be a bigger part of the bloody game. Well, in that case, back to Tonsberg, I guess. Scanning everything that comes too close to me, just in case it is. What are you? Nope, you're a traitor. Me and you, we're fine. Oh, and a shady royal has shown up. The royal plotline's going somewhere. Come and take your chance at a lifetime of fame and fortune. Ooh, I like the sound of this. The 50th annual race to the Endless Corridor, sponsored by House Spirius itself. And the first round of the contest will give the vessel passport to enter the sunken coast for the second round. Ooh. So my first mission is simple. Head to the city of ice, know where that is, and dive down to the bottom. Hidden a passport in an ancient shipwreck. Go and grab that. Easy, eh? Oh, I'm sure it won't be. But actually, it looks like we might have a helpful little uh, thing. But I can swim through here. No, don't hit the top. Just go full speed into this. It looks like this is taking me the right sort of way. Yes, here we are. We've got a nice, friendly, helpful current to help me get over to the City of Ice in a hurry. Lovely. So, City of Ice is easy enough to get to. Fine. Then from there, we just need to head straight down, presumably. Jay, you've got any advice for me on that front? Straight down, right to the bottom. Ancient shipwreck will have to do some searching. Can't be that bad, I'm sure. Just straight on down. Lovely. I mean, we know how deep we can go. We can only go down to like minus, what was it, 500. So, it can't be that long till we hit the flipping bottom. Ooh, apparently the bottom is red and sinister. And also murky. The extremely murky depths. Let's just quickly give ourselves a scan here. Make sure we're not about to slam into something. To be honest, no sign of any... Yeah, no sign of anything, to be honest. No sign of... I can see the ancient shipwreck. Fine, we've got ourselves a thing there. Stop, 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 stop. So we've got one shipwreck there. But, oh, oh, hello. Excuse me. Uh, who just, who just flipped and fired at me? Uh, ancient shipwreck. I've just taken some damage from a torpedo. It might have been following me for some time. Who knows? No sign of anywhere I could latch on to me. And incidentally, ah. Air could be a problem down here, but not too bad. Incidentally, are you a mine? Pretty sure you're a mine, yeah. Let's just get you down out of the way, just in case. And instead, we can pop in here for a top-up of air, which would be welcome. Yes, uh, get round over there. Lovely. Though, tragically, the prize is not so easily hidden that it's right here. This is just a useful spot to top up some air in. So if it's not here... Then where? Well, there's another shipwreck over there. Ah! There's a shipwreck over there with a hole in the side by the looks of things. Send out a ping at that one. Yeah, another ancient shipwreck right there. And... Ah! Mines inside it. Well, if there's mines inside it, that's definitely got to be the right one. Move up to full speed for now, but prepare to go down. This doesn't seem to be it. I don't know! This looks like it to me. I'd say we've got flipping mines the far side here. Fire something... Fuck. No. Okay, are you kind of seeing where I'm pointing? Because I'm pointing in like that. Okay, fine. You know what? Whatever. Keep heading in this direction, I guess. Go to the... Ah! One of those frozen dead giants again, except hopefully this one's just as dead as the last one was. I don't particularly want to run into a, a not dead giant. Oh, yeah. There's something over there. Ancient ship. That doesn't look like a shipwreck to me. Gonna be honest, that doesn't look like a shipwreck at all. That just looks like a giant monster that's gonna kill me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it just moved. It just moved. And also, oh flip, it's attacking me! It's a Yamoto ship! I don't know what one of those is. Full back, full back, full back, full back. It's a giant terrifying spider ship. And it is actually attacking me right now. And it's gonna flip a murder mate. Right, go, go, go. Full full forward this way. We just need to circle around it. What the heck is this thing? Right, give it a scan, give it a scan, give it a scan, give it a scan, give it a scan. Take out its con tower if you can and just fire the torpedoes. Fire the torpedo. Bloody hell. And it's go, 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 go. I think that's where it fires its torpedoes from. Go up, go, go up. 
Bottom up, are we missing? There we go. Up we go, up we go, up we go, up we go, up we go. I think we've taken out it. Oh, flip. Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. Oh, we've taken out at least one of it, and it's taken me out as well. So basically, in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, this game features giant, terrifying, missile-armed, underwater spider ships that utterly, utterly destroy you. So now I'm starting to see hints of roguelike and also horror and it does the underwater horror like i will say the atmosphere is great the score is brilliant audio work is great yeah it's a nice little piece of work the combat and the movement are a little bit on the awkward side which make kind of difficult fights a little bit on the frustrating side but possibly it's just because i haven't really kind of practiced and got enough used to it and incidentally if you want to get good enough to defeat the spider monster you are more than welcome link in the description below i however would like to see at what point the game begins and what actually happens if you begin a game skipping the tutorial because i've no idea whether or not i've even bloody cleared that yet the answer is, unfortunately, I don't know. So when I go into the settings and I try and turn off the tutorial, and I tell it to apply that, and then come back out again, then the tutorial is turned back on again. So I have no way of turning off the tutorial, so I don't actually know at what point a game starts if you don't go through the tutorial, or whether I've cleared the tutorial or not. Hopefully that's something peculiar to my setup and not something that affects the entire game, as I now have no clue where Deluvian begins if you skip the tutorial. I mean, it felt like, possibly, that was the final thing I needed to do as part of the tutorial? Maybe, because the guy was implying if I got the passport, then I could do the second stage, which was going to the Endless Corridor, which feels more like a roguelike -y sort of thing. So possibly the Endless Corridor is a bit more roguelike, and this is the more story-ish introduction you've just seen. Still, if you think it looks like an interesting idea, link in the description below to Luvian. I think it's alright. I won't necessarily come back to it, but I think it's decent enough. It's atmospheric, it's got some really nice visual design, it's got some really nice audio design. It does under the sea quite nicely. There's a bit of fiddliness with camera and control and shooting and so forth. That's maybe a little bit on the frustrating side. So it doesn't have the clean simplicity of the best roguelikes. But I'll say, you know, I've had a decent enough time with it. And maybe you will too. Still, I'm sure we will visit more roguelikes in time, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been Jonathan. has been many a true nerd. And this has been the really rather atmospheric Diluvian. Thank you very much and goodbye. Oh, oh, cannibalism. Good. That's a useful thing. Good news, guys. Unless he rolls dreadfully, you should be safe. And that was a pretty dreadful roll. And now the ship doesn't explode. <laughs> Yay! Not explode. Not explode. Not explode. We're running out of dice again. Um, I wonder if there's any morphine left.